Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. This is my first um, video posting on this channel. So um, a quick introduction. My name is Kelly. I am what I would like to call a recovering makeup over consumer. Recovering is a loose term um, because I'm still working on it. Um, but I've gotten really into like panning content in the last six-ish months and I've decided that I would like to join the YouTube community for it um, and start posting on here as well. I do have an Instagram that I created about six months ago as well, um, which I will make sure to link down below if you are interested in following along. Sorry, my cat's right here and he's just playing with everything that's in front of me. Um, you want to say hi? This is Milo. Mm -hmm. um, so today <laughs> I'm going to be doing my intro video to the That's So 2000s project pan. I am a little bit late getting started on this. I believe um, the project began April 16th. So um, I found out about this a little bit late and now I'm deciding to actually make videos. So I wanted to film this and get this one posted so I can get started on this project. Um, I also want to show off really quick my little mug. I'm obsessed. Um, I will make sure to link the artist for this in the description box as well. Um, she's on Etsy and I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I really love this mug. Um, also if you're curious on my lips, I have the Trixie Cosmetics Red Scare, um, liquid lipstick, which was a tour exclusive for the Trixie and Katia tour that... The first leg just wrapped up and they're starting the second leg soon, but I'm not much of a red lipstick girl and I really like this one. It feels very comfortable on the lips. Um, so maybe Trixie will, there's Milo, sell um, the liquid lipsticks not as a tour exclusive at some point because I really enjoy this. Anyway, like I said, this is my intro post to the That's So 2000s project pan. This uh, project was created by Sam, who is first time panner, and I'll make sure to link her down below. And this is a Fantastic, fantastic Ladies collab. Um, this is a rolling style project pan um, with monthly updates on the 16th of each month. And sorry, I'm just in love with my cat. Um, and there's 32 prompts and you're supposed to um, randomly generate a prompt and pick products from that. I'll also make sure to include the full prompt list um, down below if you're interested in joining. I will also make sure to include the spreadsheet below of everyone who is working on this project so you can go follow them whether it's on YouTube or on Instagram. But let's roll five random numbers. Um, I have my random number generator on my laptop here and we are numbers one through 32. Seventeen, twenty-five, one, three, and last one, seven. All right, the first prompt that I rolled was number 17, which is Sims, a product you customized. Next, we got 25, which is Milkshake, a product you have to shake up. We have one, which is flare jeans, add flare to your look. Three is brat stall, something that exaggerates your features. And finally, number seven, which is chunky jewelry, something chunky slash bulky, bulky packaging, chunks of glitter, etc. So let me grab products to fit those categories and I'll be right back. All right, I am back and I have picked out some products for um, this project and I'm very excited about these. So I'm just gonna go down in order um, in which I rolled these numbers. Um, so the first one I got was 17 for Sims, which is a product that you customized. And I am just gonna go with my singles, my palette of um, single eyeshadows. And I want to do this as a no pan left behind, so having to use each one at least once. 
Um, here is what my palette looks like. It's kind of a mishmash of a bunch of things. Um, like these here, these two are ABH. These are all MAC. This, this is MAC. This is MAC. This is MAC. So are these two. I went through a phase in college. Um, this one's actually an Ofra highlighter that I got a while ago. These two are ColourPop. This is Urban Decay. Um, this is an unknown brand that I got in a um, Ipsy bag ages ago. I remember it was like a Lisa Frank thing. And then I researched into it and like the actual Lisa Frank collab never happened. They just put it in the Ipsy box or bag. It was a whole ordeal. Um, then I have some Notice Beauty, which I actually just got in. And I think these like duo crumbs are so beautiful. Um, and then these five here are Copacetic Cosmetics. Um, you can see I have one pan in here in Soba by MAC. Um, that was my favorite eyeshadow for a really long time. Um, but yes, I'm going to try and I'm going to do a no pan left behind. So got to use each one of these ones, which will be hard with this one pressed glitter, um, which I got before I realized I didn't like pressed glitters. Um, so yeah, the singles are something I've definitely got into more recently. So I'm excited for this one. This is again for the Sims prompt. Next, I rolled number 25, which was milkshake. So a product that you have to shake up. And I picked my ColourPop Cheek Dew Serum Blush, and this one is in the shade Hotline. I actually won a ColourPop Instagram giveaway last year for their entire um, Cheek Dew line when they first came out. So I have 10 of these, um, and they are definitely notorious for separating and needing to shake them up before you use them. I do like this product. Um, oh, Milo has returned. What are you doing? And jump up there you go i do like this product and you can see i've used a pretty good bit of it i made that line a few weeks ago um but yeah i usually um will just kind of dab this on my cheeks and then i try i typically blend it in with a sponge um so that's this product i think i'm gonna set a goal to use this 20 times in this project. So I have a couple other blushes in um, other projects that I'm working on currently. So this one will be 20 uses. Um, and again, this is for the milkshake prompt. Next, we rolled in prompt. <laughs> Sorry, Milo is right next to my phone here. Hi, what do you need? Next, I rolled in prompt number one, which was flare jeans to add flare to your look. And I picked the Glisten Cosmetics and the Clay Drop um, Split Liner palette. I think these are so fun. <laughs> um, these are the like water activated liners. I think these are gorgeous. Um, there is definitely like a learning curve with this, um, but I've gotten fairly used to it over the last few months. Um, so there are three, four, five, six, eight split pans in here. Um, so there's 16 total eyeliners. And I think I'm going to make my goal for this one to be um, like no pan left behind as well, but more of using all of the colors at least once. Um, like I'll have to use this twice, once the blue and once the red. Um, uh, graphic liner is something that I want to get more into. I do follow a lot of people on Instagram and on TikTok who are really into the graphic liner and <laughs> Milo, your hair is in the way. Um, they do such an amazing job with it and I would really like to practice it more. I may not ever get to their level, but that's okay. So I think these are so fun. So yeah, I'll try this one out. Next, we got prompt number three, which was brat stalls for something that exaggerates your features. So I picked the ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Gloss in the shade Partly Rowdy. So it's just a very sparkly um, plumping lip gloss. I only got this like a week ago, 
I've used it a few times. I like it. I mean, the um, plumping effect, you know, the like tingling sensation is very manageable. Excuse me. So um, this is my lip gloss, you know, exaggerates your features because it plumps your lips and everything. Um, I do like this gloss so far. I actually used it um, yesterday when I went to an event. But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to set a goal on this one to use this 30 times. So again, prompt number three, brat stall, something to exaggerate your features. Last prompt that I rolled was number seven, which is chunky jewelry. So something that is chunky slash bulky. So that could be bulky packaging, chunky glitter, etc. I am going to roll in my Glam Light Glam Donut Palette. Um, this is, as you can see, pretty chunky. Uh, but I, I've learned recently that I really, really like this palette, um, especially this blue shade icing, icing right here is stunning. Um, but this is pretty unnecessarily large. Um, it's just kind of like puffy almost at the front here. Like you could see it bounces in. Um, but because I already rolled in my singles, um, palette in here, I don't want to do eyeshadow again. So I'm actually going to roll in just this highlighter shade in the middle right here. Um, this is the shade glazed, which is a really pretty, but also fairly chunky glitter, um, Highlighter. I have used this a few times and I really enjoy it. It's very bright. <laughs> Again, since I'm working on other eyeshadows in this project already, I didn't want to include any of those in here. So I'm just going to set a goal to use this highlighter 20 times. And that is my whole That's So 2000s introduction. I will say I'm technically a 90s baby, but very much grew up in the early 2000s. Um, so this is something that I can really lean into uh, and I'm happy to participate in this project. So to recap all the things that are in here, I have my palette of eyeshadow singles. I have my ColourPop Cheek Dew Serum Blush, the ColourPop So Juicy Lip Gloss, the Glisten Cosmetics, um, and the Clay Drop palette, and then finally my Glam Light Glam Donut palette. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, if you are participating in this project, please let me know. I would love to watch, or if you film project panning content, I'm very interested in discovering new creators always. Um, so thank you guys again for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!